It's a growing sport, triathlon. Nearly 160 kids from all over are competing in the North Mankato Rip Roar Triathlon event at Spring Lake Park. It's up about 50 to 60 percent from last year um, for this race. It's still our smallest event, but we kind of like it that way. This is our hidden gem. The North Mankato event location is the first of four separate Rip Roar Triathlon events throughout the Midwest this summer. And so for us, it's about getting the word out that, hey, you don't have to be a future Olympian. It's not an Ironman for kids. Uh, we're going to get kids through the course, and we're going to make it the best day of their summer. There's three different levels based on ages. The senior group is kids ages 11 through 15, and they swim 200 meters, bike six miles, and then they run two miles before crossing the finish line. So we start the athletes one at a time, which means that they come through the finish line more one at a time, and we never know who the winner is. One of Mankato's own, Carter Dykeman, is crossing the finish line, coming in first for the boys' senior division. Really fun. It gets people out, out to the outdoors to get fresh air and stuff, and it's, it's a fun thing to do with your friends because competitive. And 15-year-old Rochester resident Ariana Wirtz finished first for her girls' senior division. I'm happy. It was good. I, I I like racing, it's fun. A fun competitive event, but it's not all about finishing first at Rip Roar. And for us, it's less important who the winner is. We try to set up a race that's challenging enough that crossing the finish line is the accomplishment. Accomplishing a rigorous workout on a hot Saturday morning. In North Mankato, Barrett Anderson, KEYC News 12.